getting very popular, so watch me as I try it out. Welcome to Maximum Rush. I'm Alice. Watch me drift here at Yas Marina Circuit. garage where most of the cars are kept. I'm stood next to the SST supercar, which I'm going to be a passenger, so very excited about that. Over here, the AMG, which I think I'm going to get to drive myself. And in the background, for any James Bond fans, I can see the Aston Martin. Now I'm off to find Jan, who's just going to tell me more about the Yas Marina circuit. So I found Jan, who's the senior instructor here. So can you just tell us a little bit more about Yas Marina Circuit before we get on to the exciting drifting? I think uh, Yas Marina Circuit uh, became world famous uh, after the fact that we are hosting the Abu Dhabi Formula One Grand Prix. But an amazing track outside. And what's really fun about this track, it, it goes under a hotel, doesn't it? Yeah, it's uh, I think one of the only ones where you go uh, on the hotel. Also the uh, pit lane exit is one where you go into uh, uh, under a tunnel, which is one of the only ones I think in uh, Formula One history. Formula One, what other driver experiences do you offer here? Oh, well, we got a, a, a large scale of products on offer. I think we got now more than 70 cars in the school, which race from uh, the cars you can stand around here. The SST Radicals, it goes to the Aston Martin GT4s, as you mentioned. We've got the S3000, which are basically uh, Formula cars, uh, single seaters. We have uh, saloon cars, we have the Mercedes AMG, we have the drifting now with Toyota. So there's a lot of uh, things that we can uh, offer. We even go all the way to Dragster, where people can come and drive uh, one of our Camaros or can even be trained on uh, the monorails, which are the top fuel, uh, the top cars in, in Dragster. So can you just explain to me the three experiences I'm going to do today? Well, uh, yes, uh, basically, first of all, you will be put as a passenger in one of those cars. These ones? Yes, those ones. So we will have a professional pilot taking you around the track for uh, very fast laps. We yeah. call it hot laps. Uh, with the weather, it's not that difficult anyway. But um, after that, we will put you into the uh, Mercedes SLS. So that, Behind us? Yeah, that will be a paced session. So there will be an instructor in front of you with an other SLS. You will be driving them. There will be radios on board of the cars and they will communicate and they will give you feedback over your driving while you do this experience. So I'm following someone? You're following someone and he will then give the feedback while he's driving in front of you. He will monitor your okay. driving skills and then he will give you some... Uh, it's like oh, passing my test again. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> positive feedback yeah. over your driving experience. <laughs> And then uh, after that there is uh, the drifting, um, which we'll have to go to our uh, dynamic area. Uh, we drive the Toyotas over the skid plate. Uh, we have uh, a system that can uh, put the car out of, uh, out of control. Uh, it's uh, basically a plate, as you drive over it, the car at the back will be swapped to the left or the right. Right. Uh, and then you just have to make sure you can control it. And it's a very fun exercise. That's what I'm nervous about. Yeah, no, it's not. It's, it's very safe. Uh, it all happens at lower speeds. Uh, but uh, still, you need to have a lot of car control. Yeah. And it's basically a thing which we want you to learn. And when you go away, maybe you can control these, these uh, things. So, do you want to show me the first one? Yes, we will do. I hope you will enjoy it. Booted to do the passenger experience in the SST Super Sport, which is here. Jan, how powerful is this car? Well, it, uh, it, the engine comes from a Suzuki Hayabusa motor engine. It's, it's only 1,200, uh, 1,230cc, so it's not really um, uh, that big, but uh, it develops 210 horsepower. Um, with that, you can uh, project the car over 220 kilometers per hour, so that maybe is not so. Uh, high speed if you compare it to the MGs or, or to the other projects. 
But because the car is so light, it's only 610 kilos, uh, the car, the power to weight ratio of this car is, is tremendous. The braking is, is just out of the world if you're not used to drive these cars and the, the cornering, uh, they can easily pull 2.5 Gs through. considering you haven't done this before. Yeah, uh, most of the people who come out are totally, uh, they, they don't know what to say, to how to react to it. Uh, but before we go, we always uh, make sure that the client uh, knows that he can give us a signal that if he starts to feel bad or feel sick, that at least he let us know that uh, we back off and we go a little bit slower. But do you have an age limit as a passenger? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Ah, as a passenger, you have to be a minimum of 14 years old and, and you have to be tall enough so we can uh, actually strap you in, uh, in a safe way. Okay, so and you've got a helmet on? Helmet, balaclava, gloves and uh, we'll strap you in. Quick, let's go. Got the gloves on, ready to go. passenger experience and now I'm about to drive myself in the AMG but before that Abbas is going to take me through the safety briefing just so we understand about corners, turns, brakes and things like that. We will take it easy in the first few laps for you to get used to it and when I see you improving yourself we can go on and on especially that I can communicate with you through radios. If you are beginner or expert we have three type of cones usually we put them on the track. Double red cone, we have yellow and green. Double red, you start to break. And yellow, you start to turn. And green is the apex, exactly the corner. So if you use those three type of cones every time, you will feel that you improve your driving and you can feel more confidence and you can be fast, of course. Check the flag you will see at the end. Uh, blue flag is for overtaking. Yellow flag to slow down if something happened, like an example to me, any brake failure or something. Red flag is mean that it's dangerous to stay on the track. We must come back to the pit lane. So you will drive slow and come all the way to the garage here. White, uh, slow moving vehicle, white uh, light. Uh, red and yellow light is slippery surface. Yes, we are done and we are ready to go on the track. is just setting up the car for me. This is the car I'm gonna drive around. We've done the briefing. My heart is starting to go. This is probably the nervous I've ever been and probably one of the scariest things I'm gonna feel that Maximum Rush is gonna make me do. I think never been racing before, the fact that I'm in such a supercar and I am in control. 
but very excited. I mean, look at the car. It's so sexy. So we're getting in there. We've done set up, got the helmet on, been brief, and uh, I'm going to follow Abbas's lead. Okay, Alex, you can start now, so you can put it in B, right, and try to follow my line, and start to accelerate the right line. Was it? That was amazing. You enjoyed? Thank you so much. Yeah, really Perfect. Good. You feel how the difference of the car and everything yeah. is different type of yeah, course. Yeah. And um, that's the way. Like this car is quite fast and straight. Yeah. 210 easily with this one, yeah, yeah. but that one is struggling. So which you can go more, but the track condition is not very clean today. Oh, okay. That's why. But uh, you did very good job. You yeah. followed the instructions. So that was amazing. I was really scared before, but you don't feel like you're going that fast. And it, in fact, I would have to go faster. Abbas was telling me that the conditions aren't that great. So you just have to be a little bit careful on the corners. It's a little bit dusty. But he was amazing. He told you step by step, guys, what he told you he'd say in the brief, he did on the, on the track. So it's really not as scary as it feels. It's great fun. It's a beautiful car and you feel amazing. Going to go away after the break. Max and Russ will show you how I'm going to get on with the drifting. Can't wait. So why is drifting so popular? Well, um, it's been a while we tried to uh, start this product. Uh, obviously, when you look in the whole Middle East region, and it goes further than only Middle East, Lebanon, uh, they are very, very uh, crazy about this drifting thing. Only there was not uh, a product on the market which uh, was actually presenting it. So we were in contact with uh, Toyota, and they really backed us up. Uh, they said to us, OK, um, let's, we'll give you, uh, supply the cars. So we designed the course and um, it's uh, popular amongst the uh, Emiratis as expats, as, as tourists. They, uh, at the point in time where if we open up the slots, it's almost fully booked and uh, there's people come again and again and again. So probably there is something fun about it. And uh, also we uh, have different stages where people can then progress, starting from the basic uh, learning of drifting, then they can get more experience. So we have different products on offer to please them. So I think I'm going to start at the beginning experience. Uh, maybe you can surprise us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so as promised, we're going to show you the drifting and Jan, you're going to teach me the rope. So how do we start? Well, first of all, uh, there are some basic techniques that we have to learn as we do the briefing uh, where we just finished, where I explain you what to be careful for. Uh, as soon as we get into the cars, first have a, a good sitting position that you're not obstructed in any way using the pedals, using the, uh, the, the steering wheel. Very important is the way you handle the steering wheel in drifting. You have to be very, very quick on, on manipulating the steering wheel, which is not easy. It looks easy, but it is not. A lot of people are like grabbing for the steering wheel. It goes all, all the way and they have absolutely no control. So that is one of the basic techniques, is this yeah, how to hold steering wheel technique. Um, of course, uh, the cars are equipped with uh, traction control, ABS, ESP, so we have to take all that off. So before you get started, the car will not drift if you don't uh, uh, take those uh, traction controls off. So after we've done uh, that, then we can start uh, the drifting course. First of all, we do is the um, uh, skid plate, where you will be running over an area where the car will be put out of control. So basically, at that point in time, you have to recover from that and see if you can uh, get the car back in line. What is important is that as you drive over that plate and it catches the rear wheels and the car, the car gets kicked to the left or to the right, it can be random, we can change the intensi intensity of the kick, we can change the direction of the kick, so you can be completely be taken out of guard. And then um, it's up to you to, to react very quickly on those, uh, on those matters. 
Um, I think most of the people are not used or never been in a situation like that. Uh, the only thing we simulate here is that you can do it in a safe environment, which is of course, uh, very important for us. But uh, nevertheless, uh, you'll, you'll um, experience the same as losing control of a car, but in a, in a controlled environment, which is important. So we're going in this car, but can people bring their own cars and do this? Uh, no, not at this stage. Uh, there is some uh, drift nights that we organize, uh, but uh, you'll, you'll see everyone from, from beginners to people who have really completely transformed their cars in, in super drift cars. And there are some nice cars here around the track. This is only the, the skid plate, but uh, there are some track nights where we do the drifting on the, on the racetrack, a smaller part of the racetrack, and that is really, really nice to see. There's a lot of uh, exciting things to see there. Great, well, let's get started. Yeah, okay. Let's go. How did you think the experience was? You liked well, it? Well, it's a lot harder than it looks, especially coming from the track. Um, I haven't driven a manual for a long time, so suddenly being told to jump in the car and then drive. Like I'm thinking of loads of other things to do. We have some automatics uh, lined up for uh, people who are not comfortable with the manual, so even uh, yeah. we have three automatics, uh, so it shouldn't be a problem for the old people yeah. to drive it. Because this is, um, once I understood not just turning, but you had to really turn. I picked it up quickly, but again, it's trial and error. Like, just because someone says, go fast, it doesn't mean you can automatically. Well, most of the people who have never experienced this kind of uh, behavior of the car, uh, can you imagine what happened when they hit this on the highway at like 90 or 100 yeah. or 140 kilometers per hour, and now we do this exercise at like 60 or 40, and then people still get into trouble. But it's only by doing it that you get a certain routine in it, and, and once you come into your comfort zone, you will always cope with this kind of uh, drifting the car or losing control of the car. Normally you should be able to recover that one. And when you took it for a spin or the handbrake turns and stuff, that's when uh, I suppose everyone starts really enjoying it when you can do that, it's a lot more fun. Yeah, well there's a lot of people, they can drift and yes, when the place is an open place, they can drift wherever they want, it starts to be difficult when you define the place in which you can drift, which we simulate here, and once you learn that, then you have complete control of the car. which is behind me. As you can see, it's very busy. People have come for the train yards where they can run, cycle and walk. People of all ages can attend, so there's families with children and it's a great way to get fit. You don't have to be a racer or into racing to enjoy this. I'm here with Abbas, who's a member of the Yaz Marina Circuit Racing Team. Yeah, and yeah. you're also an in instructor. Yes. So what got you into drifting? Uh, it's, um, I love drifting and most of our boys here at the UAE Nationals, and uh, they, they love to go sideways. And fast cars. Fast cars <laughs> with a lot of horsepower, with rear wheel drive, 
no traction control, so they love to go all the way sideways. And uh, this is one of the things that um, um, I started to learn about it. Uh, it's been like now uh, for a few years. And uh, we, I do instruct also uh, how to drift with uh, our racing cars, which are available here in Yas Racing School. Uh, so this is one of the very good things that we get a lot of demand from different nationalities to do this kind of thing. And drifting is a part of thing that you might lose control on the street when you drive and for any forbidden or, or for any sudden uh, uh, reaction and you can control the car so that's it helps basically to know how the way to drift. So what's the skill then in drifting? I mean because the thought of it is you've got to think and react quickly. The, the drifting is a, there is a clipping point how you can uh, control the car all the way when you go sideways and you find a clipping point transition of the car, you move the car from the right side to the left uh, without uh, hitting the cones or without hitting the uh, barrier or the wall. It's how the way exactly you react with the steering wheel and you keep, you control the car most when it goes sideways. That's the drifting thing. And I've heard uh, it's not just the skill of driving, but you have to be fit. Yes, it's hard sure. work physically as well. Physically, it's uh, very hard, especially you feel it from your arms. It's very, because you turn the steering very much uh, during each and every corner. You want to go ahead. So even you feel if you're not very in very good uh, physically, you, you feel you are very tired when you finish your session and your muscles are pain and all the things. Yeah. So can you just summarize why do you love drifting so much? Drifting is thrilling and it uh, brings uh, exposure of uh, each. Basically, it became as a part of sport, uh, drifting, it became as a part of sport. It's not only come and drift and hit the cones and drop it down, it's how the way you control the car and people, they appreciate that you know how to control it. And it's very popular here we have in UAE and most of the countries also the same thing. three driving experiences. The first one was the SST where I was a passenger. It was fast, it was quick, it was exciting, it felt like a roller coaster. You kind of bring propelled forward, quickly around the corner, so it was great fun. The second one where I got to drive following a lead was amazing. I was in the Mercedes and I have never felt anything like it before. This is an expensive car. It feels amazing to drive, you feel like royalty. But what's really good is I thought I'd be scared, but actually when you're in starting driving, it doesn't feel like you're going that fast. And you're told when to speed up, when to brake. So again, it was really, really interesting and I loved it. The third experience was the drifting. That was hard. It was fun, but you had to really, really think. I've gone from automatic, I then had to drive a manual, which I haven't driven properly for two, two and a half years. So that first of all completely threw me. And then I'm suddenly having to drift going left to right. So reflexes have to be really quick. But with practice, you can definitely pick it up where you can really start to drift and have a lot of fun. I hope you've enjoyed seeing these fast casts today. I'm Alice and this is Maximum Rush.